My name is John Archibald and I'm a professor of biochemistry and molecular biology at Dalhousie University. My research explores the diversity and evolutionary history of microorganisms, in particular those that live in the ocean. And I became smitten with the idea that we could use an organism's DNA to track its evolutionary history. Well, it's important to recognize that although invisible to the naked eye, uh, microorganisms are at the foundation of many of, of Earth's most important ecosystems. And my group has made important advances in understanding the genetic diversity of some of the most important photosynthetic microbes in the world's oceans. By nature, genomics research is exploratory and uh, for that reason, we're never quite uh, sure what we're going to discover when we analyze a new sample. And I suppose it's that uncertainty that uh, never fails to, to inspire me. My name is Jennifer Bain and I teach at Dalhousie University. I work on the music of medieval composers Guillaume de Machaut and Hildegard of Bingen. And I'm also working with a team of researchers, computer scientists and musicologists on teaching computers how to read chant manuscripts. We want to be able to search medieval manuscripts for content in the same way that you can search Google Books for content. And Google Books uses something called optical character recognition, and what we're working with is optical music recognition. Ultimately, we want to be able to answer interesting questions about medieval music, like how it was transmitted, how it went from one place in Europe to another place in Europe, or who was working on actually writing out these manuscripts. I love encountering medieval objects and trying to see what they can tell us about themselves. When you're dealing with a music manuscript, you're dealing with something that's it's, it's on a page and it's not out there yet. And it's an exciting process to try to figure out how to make this, this thing become alive. My name is Rudolf Uher. I'm a psychiatrist and researcher. And uh, I study how to best treat and prevent mental illness. Severe mental illness is actually quite common. It affects people early in their life, so it continues to influence them throughout their life. It uh, puts burden on their families, on the society. So uh, summed up, it's actually the most expensive health condition to the Canadian society. All that I do is uh, really inspired by the people who I treat as patients. As a physician, you know, you, you want to improve health and uh, in the individual's life. And it was early on in my career when I realized that the, uh, the mental side of health is really so uh, powerful that it will override everything else. This is really the, the core puzzle that we need to solve now in the 21st century to improve uh, the, the health of the whole population.